This is, I think, my fourth try at doing this vlog. I was watching the Sprint Cup race for, from Watkins Glen today. I just posted a vlog congratulating A.J. Allmendinger for winning, but they have got to fix that track. An hour and 30 minute rain delay from using Armco barriers is ridiculous. I would say NASCAR don't go back there unless the ownership fixes the track, but therein lies the problem. The ownership of the track is the International Speedway Corporation, which is basically NASCAR, the France family. But how can you have arm cold barriers all around, around the track? Fortunately, none of the drivers involved. Two cars destroyed, Ryan Newman's Richard Childress Caterpillar car and Michael McDowell's underfunded car virtually destroyed. And there's just no call for that. It was a racing accident, yes. Accidents happen in racing. I know that. But they've got to do something with safer barriers. Do something to prevent that from happening in the future. Hour and a half rain or hour and a half repair delay on the guardrail. Totally ridiculous. But NASCAR won't do anything about it. Look how long it took them to put lights in Kansas when they had to stop a race short. When Biffle was out of fuel, by the way, and wasn't keeping pace with the pace car, but they didn't have lights. Oh, they own that track, too, so they can get away with it. All the newer tracks that were being built around the time Kansas had lights, but this is just more of, more of NASCAR's deal. As a matter of fact, now that I say that, Watkins Glen needs to be fixed. I think I'm going to put this in the playlist of NASCAR injustices. Yeah, I think it goes there, but if it'd be a Bruton Smith on track or a Pocono or Dover, which is independently owned from either the Bruton Smith's uh, Speedway Motorsports or the France Families slash NASCAR's International Speedway Corporation, they would make them fix it. But I, I just don't get why NASCAR, oh, they own... They own the series. They own everything. They need to fix Watkins Glen. They interviewed several drivers during the rain delay saying what needs to be put up. Ryan Newman was especially vocal. And even our rain delay. It didn't rain at Watkins Glen. Where are you getting that? During the uh, red flag delay. Ryan Newman was especially vocal. And I, unfortunately, I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot remember the name of the man he named who has recently passed away that was involved in so many of the current safety features NASCAR has now, which has probably saved some drivers' lives. Frankly, there's been, since 2001, the death of Dale Earnhardt, there's been, in the top three series, there's been zero deaths, maybe two career-ending injuries, which, which is going to happen in racing, unfortunately. And only three or four or five injuries that's caused drivers to miss a race or multiple races. You know, Denny Hamlin comes to mind last year with a back injury. Dale Earnhardt Jr. comes to mind a couple years ago with a concussion. But there fortunately just haven't been that many of them. And the deal with Denny Hamlin missing a race this year was not injury related. It was something apparently in his eye was could have been done during a race, but was not injury related. But and Tony Stewart missing races last year, that was in a sprint car, non NASCAR affiliated. But I'm just saying fix Watkins Glen so you don't have an hour and a half delays repairing guardrails.